Mysterious Origins of the Samurai, part four. Oh yeah, y'all thought I was done. Y'all thought just because I took a little break for a few months on this, I wasn't saying nothing about it. Y'all thought this shit was done, huh? Nah, nah, still on your ass. For this one, I'm gonna spend quite a bit of my time reading off my notes, so I'm gonna be looking off to the side. So we're gonna go back to ancient China, actually, before a lot of this shit happened in Japan, and then we're gonna bring it to the origins of the actual samurai in Japan and when that occurred and how and why. Don't judge me, don't get offended. My Chinese is not nearly as good as my Japanese, so I'm gonna, probably gonna butcher some of this shit. I'm gonna try my best. So there's a university professor named Professor Shunxing Ling. According to him, the earliest documented rulers in China were referred to as the Xuan Di, X-U-A-N-D-I, meaning black emperors. The Shang, the Xia, X-I-A, and the Han dynasties all had black rulers. Emperor Ling was the 12th and the final ruler of the Han Dynasty in China. He ruled towards the end of, say, about 200 AD, and he had a son named Aki no Omi. Now, his son took about 17 tribes from their particular part of the Han Dynasty, which was in the eastern coastal province of China, and they immigrated to Japan. They ended up going through some parts of Korea. They find essentially the first ancient provinces in the north which is now present-day Hokkaido. Well, just to break down the name a bit, I mentioned the emperor's son was named Aki no Omi. That literally means if you break it down in ancient Oromo or ancient Yoruba, which are Ethiopian, Kenyan, you know, Egyptian languages, it literally means from the water over there. Oh yeah, I found it kind of interesting how the word Omi in Yoruba and Orobo means water and Umi is ocean in Japanese. It's literally just the O and the U change. It's a lot of words like that between Japanese and ancient African languages that overlap. Hmm. The, the words literally break down to there and water. So it can be postulated and put together that it was essentially, they were saying he was from over there across the water. Hmm. What, what water? So we're gonna look at some of these maps and see that again, coming from the Han province towards the top Eastern coastal end of China, how there will be that direct route to the northern end of Japan, the Hokkaido area, well as, you know, you can kind of see a, a pretty clear pathway to certain civilizations in Africa, and as well as India, as we mentioned in a prior video. Now, Aki no Omi founded the Yamato clan. It's a very well-known, very well-established ancient royal clan in Japan in present-day Hokkaido, which is the northern end. He escaped China, traveled through Kadara, which was what we know as Korea now, and ended up in Hokkaido. Um, so this is from the Nihon Shoki, um, which is a historical text um, written around 289 AD. So obviously it was written on a scroll. It said in the 20th year, autumn, ninth month, Aki no Omi, ancestor of the Atahe of the Aya of Yamato and his son Suga no Omi immigrated to Japan, bringing with them a company of their people of 17 districts. So this is what I was mentioning when I was saying earlier, he literally brought along 17 different clans or families that were aligned with their families in their province in ancient China, in the Han province. And they essentially immigrated over to Japan, founded this clan and, and started up this spring of civilization over there. Over 2,040 people that went to Japan with Aki and his son. Among these were astrologers, diviners, medicine men, artists, etc. But more importantly, they brought with them the latest advancements in steel making technology, civil engineering, and mainland military science, or the martial arts. So this is where the origin of martial arts came from in Japan. They literally brought it over from this particular province in China, which I demonstrated before. The emperor is black. A lot of the people in this particular area were melanated Asiatic people. 